Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. I hope everyone's doing okay. And uh, what we have here, uh, this is an HP 12C calculator, which is used to solve uh, financial real estate problems, as many of you already know. Um, so this calculator has been the uh, market standard in finance and real estate since 1981. And uh, as you can see, most of the keys are multifunction, and most of the keys you will be using are in the first top row here. And they are color coded, as you can see. Uh, it does have a reverse keying order, which means it kind of works uh, backwards, and it does give you negative values depending on the calculation you are doing, uh, which can be confusing at first, but if you think about it, um, at the end of the day, it is money going out of your pocket, uh, so it does make sense, right? So, there are many calculations you can do with this calculator, um, including calculating simple and compound interest, uh, periodic and annual interest rate, uh, net present value, as well as calculating internal rate of return, um, calculating loan APR and uh, I think um, one of the best ones calculating the mortgage pricing so let's go ahead and turn this on let's clear it okay it's cleared and uh, considering that I'm always uh, looking um, for an opportunity to invest let's focus on calculating uh, periodic and annual interest uh, rates on a given on a given investment so as we know uh, an interest rate can be charged on a uh, investment over a specific period of time and there are many ways we can approach this uh, let's go ahead and do this um, let's go ahead and work backwards I guess so uh, in order to solve uh, for what interest rate is needed given a frequency of compounding uh, to produce a future value of a given investment in this case we uh, will need to know a few things right so a uh, what is our investment uh, and B what uh, are we trying to uh, accumulate uh, with this investment so uh, by the way these uh, calculators I found I found them on uh, eBay they're pretty cheap 15 20 bucks uh, you know I definitely think they're worth it you can't go wrong with them um, so let's say you want to accumulate um, ten thousand dollars in a period of five years on an investment of six thousand dollars so ten thousand dollars five years you have six thousand dollars what is the annual interest rate required if it is compounding quarterly so with that being said let's go ahead and get started you'll press f Thing, which will clear the uh, financial register you don't want to make any calculations with previous uh, formulas in there otherwise you'll get some uh, you know, funky answers uh, so we said uh, 11 on oh, 10,000 10,000 five years 6,000 okay so five years so let's start off with the, entering the, the uh, uh, the years which is five enter four multiplication which will tell us the uh, total periods of compounding which is 20 uh, which makes sense you know five times four 20 now uh, we have uh, pre present value which is our investment value six thousand six thousand uh, dollars which is cash present value and what we want to get in return 
uh, which is we said 10,000 so as you can see that's a negative 6,000 because that is more money going out of your pocket so now we want 10,000 future value now if we click the I button here uh, we will it would tell us the uh, quarterly interest rate uh, it's acting a little funky. It's running, running. Okay, so we're looking at 2.59% quarterly. Uh, if we want to know the uh, annual interest rate, we simply uh, type in 4 multiplication. And we're looking at 10.35. Um, which is what is required to grow the uh, the uh, initial value to a total of 10,000 in a period of five years.